My friends, did you see how excited that monkey was in that clip? Well, that's how excited I am right now because it feels like I found a brand new gun. But I didn't really because it's been there in front of me the whole time. The only difference is how I've been using it, okay? You might remember a couple videos ago that I did a, a, a one on a professional pub stopper, full clip king. He's in the Doom Clan. I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube and Twitter in the description below. So please be sure to check him out if you haven't already. Um, but anyway, he turned me on to a more aggressive playstyle. Now you might notice that my playstyle is a little bit more flanky and I rely on good positioning and map and spawn knowledge to gain, gain victory. Now Full Clip King, wow, I mean he has all that too, but his pace is pretty fast. And in order to, to like get better at the game, I've decided to try to um, take some of his advice and some of the things he does and incorporate into my own game being just a little bit faster Am I as fast as him? No, I mean he's an amazing player But you know the point is I want to improve it little by little you see and um, What he's got me doing is not putting a suppressor on the K bar. I've been working on that I'm not even running ghosts to be honest with you This is the class setup that I get this nuke that you're about to see and by the way I've gotten three more since this gameplay that's even better than what I'm going to show you right now. But this is my first game in implementing some of the strategies or ideas that I'm learning from uh, Full Clip King. Okay, so obviously, you see, I got grip, quick draw, stock, elo, and just dexterity, scavenger, dead silence. Now I'm running jammer grenade. In case you run into one of those pesky turd turrets or one of those annoying vultures, you're going to wish you had a jammer grenade. So that's why I'm rocking that. Now, this is Full Clip. Clip King setup right here. This guy does not run a grip on his K bar. Absolutely crazy, accurate aim. I don't know how he does it, but he doesn't need a grip. This is what he rocks quick draw and rifled barrel. Um, I use this class a little bit too, but I feel like I need stock because I'm just not as accurate. So I like the stock to make sure I strife right onto target sometimes when I need to. Um, he is staying off the radar with Ghost, Dexterity, Scavenger, and Dead Silence, okay? So, um, yeah, you know, I mean, for the sake of getting better at Call of Duty at this stage in the game, it's important that I think we step out of our comfort zones and try a different play style just for the sake of improvement. Plus, it's kind of fun, you know? I mean, um, and as far as not having a ghost um, perk, here's the way I look at it. The K-Bar without a silencer melts almost every other single gun. So if they run up, they're going to get done up, right? I mean, we, like the K-Bar is a top tier weapon when used properly, when accurate. So I figure um, I'm going to take myself off the radar. I don't care that I don't have a suppressor and then they all come a running. You know, it's all for the sake of getting better and it's actually starting to pay off. I was running with Full Clip King like for like, I don't know, all morning, like hours this morning. Game after game after game. I actually got back to back the atomizers. He got back to back to back to back four games in a row. Just ridiculous. But that's another matter altogether. But anyway, guys, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get it rolling. And I uh, hope you like it. Let's go. Like anything in life that you do for the first time or th something that you change, it takes a little bit to adapt. And you're going to see that a little bit, like especially at the beginning. I'm on the struggle bus here a, a little bit early on and then kind of get into my group later. Um, but, you know, and some of you guys might think, well, that's not a big deal, arm locks. I mean, I never run Ghost or I always uh, run with an unsuppressed K-Bar, you know, but I haven't. So I've had to adjust my play style accordingly to not having Ghost, to not having a suppressor. Now, I've gotten um, the atomizers in the past without a suppressor, but, you know, by far 95% of my gameplay is all with suppressor. And now I'm just going to an unsilenced K-Bar just to try to, you know, 
mimic a play style just to get better, to branch out. Okay. Snuck up on a nice little double bubble right there. And, um, yeah, you know, this is a really good map to push the pace to. I really love this right there. I actually, my headset saved me right there. Now, there's a guy in that little cubby hole. I'm kind of in a pickle right here. I got to back up out of there. He's got that pre-aim, so I don't want any part of that gunfight. So, I think, you know what? I'm going to push to the middle. There's an easy kill right there. Wrong. Homeboy came around the corner with a bunker buster of his own. Look at him. Rifle barrel, too. Just melted me. So, that guy pretty much has a very similar setup to what I'm using, only he has rifle barrel barrel so he'll lay me down if, if we have any kind of distance between us and he's accurate so anyway back here as I push to the middle of the map you know trying to be aggressive and look at this look at this crap man I totally missed that guy up there in the box thinking you know I was watching the guys that was coming flanking from the side so yeah so not the not the best star okay pick up a nice little jump shot kill there another double turned into a double bubble do I get a biscuit I think my biscuits outside waiting on me Yep, there goes my biscuit running on the wall right there. Give me my biscuit. Come on. There we go. Got my biscuit. So, um, yeah, there's a guy right here. Now, watch this kill right here. Watch this. This is... Look at that. That is total crap, bro. I just got melted, man. I was actually kind of upset about that one. I felt like I had that that gunplay. I thought that was an easy challenge. Okay, so I stole one kill, and I see they're all coming, so I back off. This is the smart play right here to back off. Yeah, you see how I'm using that the doorway there as a um, the strife back and forth from as cover. So I decided I don't want any part of it, but I hear him following me. There we go. My teammates lay him down. So taking these wall runs, being a little aggressive. Don't have ghost. Don't have suppressor. So I need to choose my engagements wisely, and I, I need to not make sure I don't get too deep. You know, because they all come running. I mean, that that's the thing. When you don't have ghost, you don't have suppressor. You need to be ready to lay down more than one enemy. Um, at any given time, okay. What are my teammates doing? All they would they would they have one up? Huh? What the heck? They having a slumber party in the middle? A pillow fight? What's going on? My teammates are killing me right now. Look, it's 25 to 42. My teammates aren't doing anything. There's a guy in the head glitch. I had to waste my rewind just to get out of that. And um, yeah, look at this. This does not look good. This does not look good. And they just called in a warden. So you can imagine my excitement here. Man, I bet. <laughs> Like, if you watch the first part of this game, you're like, oh my god, where does, where, where, where does he get the deatomizer at? How does that happen? How do you get a deatomizer? There they got, they got scorchers, but I think the dumbass, I think the dumbass has killed their warden with the scorchers. <laughs> I hope that happened. I'm not sure, but I think that's what happened. Look at that guy. Shot him right in the ass. And, um... Taking these high wall runs with the K-Bar and with Synaptic, these high wall runs is really the way to go. Um, I don't take too many of them in this gameplay, but typically I, I have been, been, been hitting these wall runs. And not only that, but I've been changing directions on wall runs a lot to try to improve my movement skill. That's the one thing Full Clip King does so well, is that he can change directions up on the wall and mid-air, like, so well. He's got the movement system mastered. And you know what? I realized to myself there's certain things I just don't do because I'm not very good at it as far as the movement system is concerned, meaning like wall runs. I rarely will take a wall run and then change direction and then rechange direction and then jump and then grab back onto the wall, right? So these are some things, see I caught a little bit of the wall right there. These are some of the things that I'm trying to work on now to get better in the game, you know? Yeah, it might be it's late in the game, you know, it's what, ha we're halfway to the next Call of Duty, but you know, it's just, it's fun to improve, you know? I mean. I already got Black Sky, I've got, you know, I'm like, I almost have 100 deatomizers. I just checked my medals, like today actually. Um, so there's not a lot left for me to do in this game, you know, other than just have fun, play with my homies, and try to get, try to improve, and hope whatever improvements I make will carry over a little bit into the next Call of Duty, and also work on my editing skills for you guys, and try to bring some good videos. Ooh, nice little, look at that, as I was jumping away. Come on, man, I know he's there. Look, oh, I'm laying him down, I'm into the vulture. Which I haven't been running. I've been running a lot of support streaks, just like Full Clip does. He runs uh, UAV counter UAV, but he runs the Nova. He runs the Epic counter UAV, and then of course the advanced UAV, the Epic advanced UAV. So, oh man, it's like it, it, it's it's dinner time, man. If I can get up in that, but see, that's the thing. I, I'm a little bit nervous about taking my K bar into that room because that's when you might get beat. You might get surprised by a shotgun. You might have a 
that I don't know, I might have the stupid DPR. Um, you know, and of course when I play, I always tr if I get killed, I typically, at least half of the time, I watch the kill cam and try to get a feel for what gun they're using. So that way I kind of recycle that information and use it for the next gunfight. So look, oh look, I'm into my advance. Ah, oh, see that's the thing about the Vulture. That should have been my kill. Vulture is still in my kills. I would have got this Deatomizer a little bit sooner. Maybe even pop the Juggernaut um, if my Vulture wasn't still in my kills. But is what it is, right? Okay, advance UAV. And this guy pushes up here. Um, ooh, he almost laid me down too. That was close, okay. I know there's another guy pushing for the stairs. I'm pre-aiming. Okay, see how I did a little pre-aim slash pre-fire there? And, uh, yeah, I know there's a dude outside, and I know they're pushing their flanking towards the middle as well. So I got a good feel for the map, but I decided just to get out and re-flank of my own. Sometimes it's good just to re-roll. Even though you're in a good position, just having your, you know, being in one place for too long spells out danger a lot of times. So in the, look at this one. Oh my god, is it my birthday? Is it my birthday? Oh my god, is there a hot blonde gonna jump out of a cake next? Jeez, could that have been a be more perfect? So I'm far away, and uh, I'm gonna lay that cat down so he doesn't know where he's going. And look at this, what are they making out? What, what is this? <laughs> what were they doing? Oh, I'll lay him down. Playing kissy face over there. All right, so I'm one away, and that's it. Just like that. Did you guys see that comeback, by the way? Did you see that comeback? That was a pretty fast yet. I mean, it, not not the fastest, uh, but I, I okay. Right here, this is irritating. I meant to hit rewind, um, but the problem was I called in the nuke, and then your rewind won't work for like a split second after you call in a string. That's a very annoying thing. So I almost I almost died to that. So. I really wanted the Juggernaut, but it just wasn't enough time, and I wanted to make sure we got the victory. And it was a really, really close game. Um, right there we go, <laughs> 197. Got the Deatomizer Strike using my buddy's setup and play style, and it doesn't quite—it doesn't quite mimic him completely. But he, I'm still learning, and I'm getting used to it. And this is the first of the many to come. I actually got some more gameplay that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys coming up here soon. So leave a comment in the comment section below. And also, if you haven't subbed to me yet, I'd really appreciate your support. So anyway, until next time, my friends, Armlocks is out.